welcome to ingredium and thanks for joining me today we will read the poem a walk of artifice by march pierce march pierce was born in the year 1936 on 31st of march in detroit michigan she is still alive and uh, she is uh, an american social activist at the same time a writer she is the only member i mean the first member not the only member the first member of her family who attended a college and later she won a scholarship and attended the university of michigan okay here in this poem it's a metaphor here we see a bonsai tree okay and it is representing the women of our society the women who are tortured and oppressed the bonsai tree it has uh, i mean a tremendous potential to grow up but what a man is doing a gardener is doing he is not allowing the bonsai tree to grow up but why what are the reasons behind it okay let's start the poem and we will know the bonsai tree in the attractive pot could have grown 80 feet tall there is a pot an attractive designed pot and in the pot there is a bonsai tree a tree which is a bonsai tree i mean a tree which is not allowed to grow big okay it is always uh, cut and pruned could have grown 80 feet tall yes the this small tree it has a potential to grow 80 feet okay to an enormous size to be huge on the side of a mountain till split by lightning yeah it can grow there on the side of a mountain it can be uh, destroyed by uh, lightning but that's a natural uh, calamity but other than this it has all the potentials to grow up but a gardener carefully pruned it but what is the gardener doing he is cutting the tree every day the leaves and some branches of the tree so that it cannot grow big it is a metaphor as i told you because the bonsai tree is representing the women of our society okay in it's not uh, i am not telling that it's it's hap- it happens everywhere but in in some parts of the world it happens where women are tortured they are not allowed to live their life the way they want to live okay they are oppressed the gardener carefully pruned it so the it is the i mean a, a regular job the gardener he does it it is 9 inches high and the size of the bonsai is 9 inches only 9 inches every day as he whittles back the branches the gardener croons every day whenever uh, i mean the gardener when he does this kind of job his regular job he uh, whittles the branches of the bonsai tree whittle no, whittle means whittle is a kind of knife and when you are using a knife to cut the branches and to uh, okay give it a particular measure so that's what it is called a whittles the gardener whittles the tree and he sings a song he just uh, murmurs a song okay like mm, 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 like this he does it because this uh, you know this song this crooning depicts the happiness the contentment of the gardener कि देखो मैं तुमसे ज्यादा पावरफुल हूं मैं क्या कर रहा हूं ओके आई एम नॉट लेटिंग यू टू ग्रो बिगर टू ग्रो स्ट्रॉगर दैट इज वॉट सम मेन ड्यू ओके बिकॉज दे नो दैट वीमेन हैव द सेम पोटेंशियल्स इन सम केसेस पोटेंशियल्स मोर पोटेंशियल्स दैन द मेन सो दैट्स वाई द मेन डू नॉट अलाउ द वुमेन टू run with them to work with them they are work with them in the sense to get all the facilities that a man get usually that a man gets usually it is your nature to be small and cozy and the gardener says to the one side on the other hand the men they say to the women section that it is your nature to be small and cozy it is your nature i say rehna hai small rehna hai cozy means comfortable you are comfortable you are inside a room i am giving you uh, the things that you uh, want i mean here things means only the food 
okay and the other maybe some other amenities to be small and cozy domestic and weak be domestic be homely bahar jane ka koi zarurat nahi hai yahan raho aise raho main de raha hu na jo jo cheez chahiye khane ke liye jo chahiye pehn le ke jo chahiye pehn le ke liye main de raha hu aur kya chahiye bahar jane ka koi zarurat nahi hai padhai karne ka kuch sikhne ka koi zarurat nahi hai how lucky little tree to have a pot to grow in and you may consider the gardener is saying to the bonsai that you may consider yourself very lucky because i have given you a pot you are in the pot and you are inside a room you are a matter of decoration an element of decoration only you don't have your own choices you don't have your own dreams your own expectations rehna bhi nahi chahiye jaise ho waise raho with living creatures one must begin very early to dwarf their growth okay with living creatures aise hi karna hai un logo ke sath we mean ke sath aisa hi karna hai shuru shuru mein jab when you are starting a relationship or you are uh, i mean just witnessing a girl to grow up this is the time when you should uh, ask the girl to listen to you this is the perceptions of the men only the gardener thinks that way but no one asks the girl no one asks the woman the bound feet the crippled brain the hair in curlers bound feet as i told you this is a very old uh, japanese custom where the uh, feet of the girls are tied very with a very uh, i mean tight shoes so that their feet uh, can't grow big and they think the smaller the feet are the more beautiful the girl will be the crippled brain the immature brain if you allow the women to earn to gain knowledge you will be questioned okay all your whims will not be uh, obeyed or will not be listened to by the women if they are knowledge if they are wisdom they will ask you questions and you will be in trouble that time so the crippled brain brain ko immature rakhna hai isko cripple rakhna hai the hair in curlers or curly hair hone ke liye jo curler jo hai black round pipes usse hair ko curly rakhna hai the definitions of beauty on part of men only but no one asks a woman no one asks a girl what does she want the hands you love to touch the hands you love to touch isn't it funny you the gardener is telling that uh, to bonsai that okay i am feeding you i am giving you all the comforts i am helping you to survive and what i want in return of that i want nice gesture from you nice behavior from you okay i never want you to reiterate but how how you are misbehaving with the uh, bonsai you are mistreating it and in return of that you are expecting good behavior from the bonsai okay so this is our poem a work of artifice by mart piercing i hope that explanation is quite clear to you and the poem has become very easy if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box and if you like the explanation subscribe to the channel